So most of my clients are women in South London, and I think that the recent events um, in Clapham and Brixton have really spotlighted what it is to be a woman in society. And we have some facts that show how totally vulnerable we are, whether we talk about it or admit it or not. We have 97% of sexual violent offences being committed by men, and we have only a 2% conviction of rape rate at the moment. So we are vulnerable. Now, there are many reasons we can't really admit that. And the main one is if we admitted how vulnerable we were as women in South London all over, we would also have to deal with the fact that we're scared to go outside our own front doors and we want to live normal lives. So we have to kind of pretend we're not as vulnerable as we are. I think the second reason is we don't want to, um, we kind of don't want to blame men and we don't want to blame the people around us. You know, it's like this happens, but I don't know anyone who would do that. Or um, you know, men can behave like that, but not the men in my life. And as a result, it sort of shuts us down because if you start to talk about abuse or violence, you get into the thing of, oh, a few bad apples or, oh, but not men like me. And it sort of shuts us down. But actually, I was thinking about abuse and violence and how it's a bit of a death by a thousand cuts for a lot of people. It's because it's not the big things. I mean, obviously, I deal with a lot of clients in South London who come for hypnotherapy, who do have serious trauma and have experienced, you know, serious abuse, serious violence. But a lot of people... It is, it's more the, it's more the death by a thousand cuts. It's more, um, I don't know, the hovering hand in the office of the man who does that to you, but doesn't do it to any of the men or the, the kind of email address to you that's darling, which they wouldn't send to another man. And it's small, but it's not small. It's that making you feel a bit uncomfortable, making you feel a bit anxious, a bit stressed. You can't really say anything because they're really kind and they seem really polite. Um, and sweet and they don't really mean it but you sort of know inside it makes you feel a little bit inferior and a bit uncomfortable and that in itself is a violence it is an abuse and I do think these go on in a million ways every day for women and I think one thing I do in hypnotherapy um, with the women and it's mostly women I see in South London is um address people's sense of self, sense of boundaries, the confidence to listen to your instinct, the um, ability to quickly make decisions about how you feel and how you want to feel and who is raising you up and who is lowering you down, whether that's men or women, and making sure you're surrounded by people who raise you up and that you put boundaries in place and say what's acceptable and not. And it does take confidence. It does take self-esteem. And it takes courage to say to somebody, I'm not okay with you touching me like that. Or um, I didn't ask you to touch me. You know, this is my body. <laughs> it's, it's not easy. And we are. We're scared to offend. We're scared to upset. And ultimately, it's true. You know, a little bit of us learns how to manage men because they are dangerous to us you know they they can overpower us physically so we have learned to manage men um but we also need to learn to open this conversation up to them because we're really good at talking to our girlfriends about our safety and our experiences that's how we share information and keep ourselves safe but what we don't often do is include men in that conversation. And we need to. We need to say to them, look, violence and abuse goes on for us in many different ways every day. And you need to recognise it. Because even if they're not doing it, they also need to see other men doing it. And I think there's a kind of blanket, um, a sort of blanket unacknowledgement in a way of this. You know, like if you're on the bus and someone is a bit inappropriate, um, you know, another man should call that up because it's hard to call it up as a woman. So I think that uh, men being more aware of it and looking out for it and looking out for us and calling up their friends and calling up 
men they don't know on it would really help. So I think we need to bring them into the conversation. And I think we need to also accept we are vulnerable without saying, oh, we're victims. And it doesn't have to lessen us to say we are vulnerable. It just has to get the conversation going.